Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Muna Shibal and I'm a manifestation and soul realignment coach. My channel is geared towards helping you become your highest potential so that you can create and live the extraordinary life that is your birthright. In today's video, I'll be talking about the levels of creation. But before we get started, just a quick reminder that I offer both email and video coaching. So if you need help in manifesting any of your desires or in releasing any of your blogs, you definitely want to check out all my coaching options. They are in the description below. And I'd like to invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon if you'd like to receive a notification anytime I upload a new video. So today's video is all about how reality creation can happen at multiple levels. I first became familiar with this concept through a book by Frederick Dodson called Parallel Universes of Self. And I've also heard about it through the Be Something Wonderful channel. And it is really very helpful in understanding how sometimes we are trying to create our realities or at least trying to create change in our realities. So the most common way people attempt to create change in their reality is through physical 3D action. Essentially, they are trying to change who they are through physical action. For example, someone who wants to become a successful entrepreneur has the assumption that I must wake up at 5 a.m. every morning, stop procrastinating and work 10 hours a day in order to become that person. And they try to become that successful entrepreneur through those actions. Or someone who wants to lose weight, in order to lose weight and become more fit, I must get on a diet and exercise five times per week. And they attempt to create that change through that physical action. People assume what these supposed actions should be and they try to take those actions from an identity or state of not having. So the successful entrepreneur, they are someone who's not successful, that's their identity, and they are assuming to become successful, there are certain actions they need to take, and they assume these are the actions that will get them the results. The same goes for weight loss. People assume that there are certain actions that one must take in order to lose the weight or become fit in the way that they desire. But creating change through action can be very hard. It's never impossible, of course, but it is much harder. It requires habit-forming behaviors and actions. And it requires effort, force, discipline, willpower, struggle, and so on. Oftentimes, people start out using their willpower. It works for a short while, but then people fall back into their old patterns. They find it hard. They find it hard because they are holding the state of the person who does not have. And they are assuming that the action is going to get them there. Why? Because they are trying to create change at the lowest vibrational level of creation. It's the most dense level. They are trying to change their identity or who they are by changing at the lowest reality creation level, which is through actions and behaviors. Of course, I'll share with you what the levels of creation are. But essentially, that is what the average person is trying to do in 3D. Essentially, they are focused on the how rather than the what versus claiming who they are and declaring that as their new identity. With understanding of the seven levels of creation, change can be created in a much easier way using a top-down approach. So looking at the old identity versus the new identity, for the two examples I gave earlier, 
someone trying to lose weight and someone who wants to become a successful entrepreneur. The old identity is they are identified with the state of trying to lose weight or they are identified with the state of trying to become a successful entrepreneur and they're putting together the actions they perceive are a must for them to get there. So they're focused on the how. Whereas if you really do it from the top down, you would focus on a new identity altogether and claiming that you are already at your ideal weight or you are already a successful entrepreneur, even if that's not the case yet, you're declaring that, focusing on who and what you choose to be, and then allowing that to manifest on its own. And that is because that's how creation works. So let's look at the seven levels of creation. I will start from the bottom. There are seven levels starting with the lowest. The lowest, as mentioned, is through action. It's the lowest level of creation. It's the furthest away from who you really are. It's the densest way because reality creation happens from the top down, not from the bottom up. So actions represent a form of or method in which people try to create their realities or to create change in their realities. They're trying to force changes in actions through struggle, hard work, willpower, repetition. It feels hard. The next level, level two, is emotions and feelings. So people are trying to stay positive, controlling their emotions and feelings, not recognizing that emotions and feelings are an outcome of level three. A higher level. They are an outcome. So to try to control your emotions without understanding their source, their source is level three, which we'll cover in a minute, it's almost impossible. So this brings us to level three. Level three are your thoughts and assumptions. Your thoughts and assumptions always drive your emotions and feelings. Emotions and feelings are an outcome of what you are thinking. And so through law of attraction, we all learn, try to be positive, try to always focus on what you want. So you're kind of fighting and flipping thoughts and assumptions from the identity of not having. This is the key here. So that's why when you're doing it from the bottom up, you're identified with a state of not having and then trying to flip and assume new thoughts can be hard. It's not impossible, by the way. It's not impossible. I always emphasize it's not impossible, but there is an easier way. So you tend to have these thoughts that are reflective of the state you are choosing, which is I don't have. And so you're likely to have more opposing thoughts. You're likely to be struggling to flip these thoughts and fighting them and so on. Level four represent the core assumptions and beliefs. They are the thoughts that are that seem more permanent. So here you're rewiring or impressing the subconscious mind. The subconscious mind of the identity of not having because every identity or state has its own subconscious mind. This is the thing that people don't get. So again here you're rewiring, you're impressing the subconscious mind. Also it works and it's better by far trying to create change at level four versus level one. So it also works, but there is still an easier way. Level five is the identity. The identity, which we call the son of man, it's about who you are claiming and declaring yourself to be. It's the what, i.e., you are already that. You're claiming that as your truth, even though you know today that's not true. You're claiming that. You're saying, I am a successful entrepreneur. I am at my ideal weight. You're claiming that. And then by default, you activate the levels below it rather than being someone who's unsuccessful or not at their ideal weight and trying to get there through actions. The thing about levels one to four, levels one to four are outcomes 
of who you choose to be under level 5, which you are choosing and claiming as who you already are. They are an outcome. That's why reality creation is from the top down, not from the bottom up. People are trying to create change through levels 1 to 4 as a way to become that person from a state of not being that person. Very important. Now, of course, if you're working on impressing new beliefs and all that, and you're claiming who you are at level 5, that's perfect. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. It's when you are heavily identified with not having your desire and then trying to affirm and do techniques, it may feel harder. It's, again, not impossible. You can do it and you will start shifting. But sometimes there is an easier way about it. They are saying, I am not that or I want to become that and then using any of these four levels to become it. It feels hard. That's why people get tired sometimes when they're trying to manifest when they're doing techniques, they say, I'm just tired because that's what they're doing. They are identified as someone who does not have their desire and then they are doing the techniques in order to create that change versus claiming who they are at level five and then using those techniques to reinforce what they have already chosen. So when you claim who you are at level five, you energetically call in or activate the beliefs, thoughts, emotions, and actions that match who you have declared yourself to be. This is pure law of assumption or law of attraction. You're going to activate that inner state and any techniques will reinforce what you have chosen. It feels much easier. So going into levels two to four, levels two to four represent your inner state, the core beliefs, thoughts, and emotions of the identity you have chosen. And level one represents the inspired and natural actions reflective of the identity and inner state of the person you have chosen to become. So when you claim that I am a highly successful entrepreneur, or when you claim I am already at my ideal weight, with a bit of time, your actions will naturally start to reflect that. You will feel inspired. You will find yourself in flow and doing things with the least amount of effort. It will feel effortless for you because you have claimed that. And when you have claimed who you are, no action feels like effort. You become that person and it will, your actions will naturally reflect who that person is. That's why we say inspired action. Levels one to four are also manifestations. This is something I always try to emphasize. They are manifestations exactly like the 3D is a manifestation. Levels one to four are manifestations of who you have chosen to be under level five. So like any manifestation, at first you may still find yourself experiencing the inner state of the old identity, i.e. you you may more frequently activate the inner state out of pure habit, the inner state of the old identity. It's all okay. You have to be okay with that. If you allow that to be okay rather than fight it or resist it or self-criticize, you will soon no longer experience the old inner state and you'll start experiencing those inspired actions and the inner state that go with it. So you'll start to not have as many opposing thoughts. You'll find yourself believing that you are already that because you've activated the subconscious of that person. Now going into level six, level six is the I am awareness. It's the son of God. It is I am awareness, conscious awareness and presence. It represents the individuated soul. It's one point of view of all that is. If you want to learn more about this, then you want to check out my video series about consciousness and manifesting. So essentially, level six is the state of no identity. It's 
pure conscious awareness from which you can choose again. I've also mentioned it in my Trinity video. It's the central point of neutrality and no identity. It's that central point in the triangle as I explain in my Trinity video, which I will link above. Level six is declaring I am. I am. From level six, you can choose any identity you can possibly want. No limitations, no conditions, no past, present, or future ever matter. It's unconditional. So let's look at the difference between level five and level six. Level five is your human identity. Level six is your limitless no identity state. If you are heavily identified with level five, you may find yourself giving more importance to past, present, and future. For example, if you're a high-performing executive in the corporate world, you've been that for 30 years, at level five, you're much more likely to give that identity and time more importance, potentially limiting your options moving forward. So if you decide that you just want to become a chef, that may play a role because you're overly identified with the identity of who you have been for 30 years. You say, well, how can I possibly become a successful chef at this age or at this point in time? So at level five, your human identity may limit you. At level six, you realize that there is absolutely nothing that you can't be, do, or have. It's a state of no identity. So you recognize that you are limitless and you can change any identity because you have the ability to choose whichever identity you would like to experience or be at any moment in time. And finally, there is level seven. Level seven is the great I am. So it's God, all that is, source energy, one consciousness. Level seven is a reminder to you that we all come from level seven. We are a manifestation of level seven. We are all one. You are all of creation and all of creation is within you because you are part of the great I am. You are a manifestation of the great I am, which is experiencing life through you. You are a point of view. So level six represents a point of view of the great I am. But ultimately, we're all one and the same. We all come from level seven. Reality creation is easier when you start from the top. At the top, is more spiritual, malleable, magical, instant. You want to think of it as water. Water can take different forms. Water can be steam, it can be liquid, or it can be a solid, ice. So if you were to think of level seven, level seven is steam. It's super malleable. It can change. It's magical. It's instant. It's flowing. It's easy. It doesn't take any specific form. So you can choose from that very quickly. Level one is the solid. It's matter. It's more dense. It's less malleable, more time and effort. You always want to start from the top. When you declare, decide and choose who you are, you activate the inner state of that person. We said the inner state is levels two to four because the law of attraction will bring about the beliefs, thoughts, emotions and actions that match that chosen identity which has a certain vibration. It's energetic. It's pure love attraction here. And when you are identified as someone who is trying to lose weight and trying to create change through action, the inner state of the person who is trying to be fit, the inner state of that person is activated. So the beliefs and core assumptions will be of the person who is trying to be fit. The thoughts are of someone trying to be fit. The feelings and emotions will be of someone who is trying to be fit. That's why you feel defeated, you feel frustrated, you feel anxious. And finally, the actions of someone trying to be fit. So it's hard for you. It's not easy. It's not natural. It's not coming to you with ease and flow. You're forcing it. You're using willpower and struggle. It's not easy because you are identified with the person who is trying to lose weight and you're trying to change who you are through the lower levels of creation. 
But when you start from the top, levels 5 and 6, your actions become inspired because the person who is trying to lose weight has a very different inner state to the person who is at their ideal weight. When you choose that you are someone who is already at your ideal weight, the core beliefs, thoughts, emotions, and actions are going to reflect that person. You're going to have the assumptions and beliefs of someone who is fit. Your subconscious mind is going to be of that person who is already fit and at their ideal weight. Your thoughts are going to be of that person as well. You won't have as many opposing thoughts. You're going to be feeling super energized and excited and you don't feel defeated because you have the feelings and emotions of someone who is fit and at their ideal weight. And the same goes for the actions. They are the natural actions of someone who is fit. And so the key is to recognize what you are choosing, the identity you are choosing, and you recognize it from that I am awareness. If things are feeling hard, know you are in the wrong identity. You have to go back, pause and reboot, as I explained in my Trinity video. Go to that central place of neutrality and then choose again. I explain how to do that in that video, so definitely check it out. How do you get into the I am awareness, which is level six? You do it by being conscious and aware of which identity you are choosing in a given moment. And you'll find it easier to get into the I am state by practicing presence, meditation, mindfulness exercises, breath work. But in the end, it's all about pure conscious awareness, even if you don't do any of the above. Through pure conscious awareness, you will know. You will be able to tap back into the I am state and then choose again. All that matters is that you're catching your mind at work. You're catching what your inner state is looking like. You're feeling like. And the actions, if they feel hard or not, you'll know. And becoming aware of the thoughts and assumptions as they are happening. The I am awareness is that awareness behind the thoughts as they are happening. And never, ever judge yourself for having the thoughts to begin with. Always show yourself love and compassion regardless of what thoughts have popped up for you or what assumptions have popped up for you. And even if you're going back to the old identity, just keep claiming and reclaiming. That shift can be instant, it can be super fast. And this helps you remain in the I am state when you show yourself love and compassion. Because when you are being critical of yourself, you are not allowing yourself to stay in that I am state. Because the I am state is a state of pure love. It's never self-critical. So the self-criticism is that of the ego mind. I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please like, comment and share. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.